Welcome back to another conversation with the Brothers of Two Complex. As always, we appreciate you for clicking on the video. But before we get into the content, make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button. 95% of y'all watching right now are not subscribed. So please help us get to that 600 number and hit that subscribe button. And as always, hit that notification bell so you miss none of the bangers that we drop every single week. We love y'all. God bless. The NCAA tournament is starting this week. Games have already started. You know, you got a, mm-hmm. a good slate of games today, another slate tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've we've talked about a ton of things dealing with the NCAA tournament already. You've mentioned the um, the the money, the gambling portion of it, and how much it spikes this month. Uh, bets spike because of that. The excitement around it, the energy that comes with it. Uh, what else is there? The the amount of attention that it brings to college sports in general. The amount of money that it has brings in for the NCAA just itself. This tournament can pay for all of the non-revenue producing sports for the year, just this tournament and so on and so forth. Stick to how you feel about this time of year with with the the NCAA tournament kicking off. March Madness has been a a big thing for decades, man. And like D'Lo said, man, this is one of the the hottest times of the year for the NCAA in general, because this brings in almost $1.3 billion to the NCAA. So as D'Lo mentioned to me earlier in the week when we were talking, this pays for every sport the rest of the year. This is like 80% of their, of their revenue in March Madness. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, we got a couple of our hometown teams in there. We got Duke, we got Carolina in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never, you, you, people would think, that, people get on me all the time about not being a Duke of Carolina fan because I'm a Syracuse fan, which is kind of crazy. But every single year, like, because my family is torn, kind of like low key straight down the middle, Duke, Carolina, Duke, Carolina. And we go at it every single year with they, not we, because I ain't neither one of their fans. And the reason why I'm not a Duke of Carolina fan is because I played against them dudes in college, bust their ass, even though we lost the games. I can't, I, I can't be a fan of you if I'm beating your ass. I can't do that. So I ain't never played against Syracuse. That game against UConn back in the day was epic. I became a fan that day, just for some for some context. But it's always it's always the time of the year where all the college fans get hype, and everybody's watching. Everybody's doing brackets. Everybody's betting. Everybody is in on the edge of their seats trying to make sure that their team wins the national championship. And the, the college, the men's college basketball national championship is one of the most coveted awards and, and press this it, is held to a certain prestige to where it's like, you're one of the greatest teams in ever. You can go down in history as one of the greatest teams ever. And you always look for the Cinderella pick. You always look for the underdog. You wonder if the, the team last year going to repeat. It's, it's always something to get ready for. The only downside is, like we've been talking about for the like last segment of this segment, is the gambling, man. Is the gambling. It's like I talked about last last segment with, with the Shohei Otani. March is the problem gambling, gambling awareness month because there's so much gambling that goes around March Madness that you have to have some kind of awareness and there's have to be some kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? There has to be some. Uh, regulation. Yes, some kind of regulation to the gambling because people are trying to get there's a million dollars that goes limit. out for in, that too regulation limit whichever one is kind of interchangeable, but you have, but but you get a million dollars if you have a perfect bracket on ESPN. It hasn't been done yet, but you get you just to have a perfect people are putting in 20, 30, 40 brackets with different names and different ways people can win just to see if they can get the perfect bracket. And it's like a the it's like a point zero 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 one chance of you actually doing it because there's so much probability. And that's why in people it. do it, and that's why people do it to get try to and of course to try to get that milli. But yeah, it's just I mean, it's just so bonus. crazy. It's an added bonus, but yeah, but it's but it's such a high to say okay, this is one of the most unprobable things, and if I can be the one to do it, yeah, yeah it is. You know what I'm saying? 
So, but I mean, I, I, I dig March Madness. I haven't really fed into too much college basketball this year to my own fault. I just haven't, I don't watch much TV and I work such long hours. I don't have a chance sometimes to see the games and they come on so early on the West coast. And by the time I get home, everything's already gone off, honestly. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just, it's just weird for me to actually catch some live games sometimes unless it's on the weekends, but I'm actually excited for it. Like I watched a couple of games. I watched a couple of games yesterday. Um, not yesterday. I watched a couple of games on Thursday. The second round is today. And then the Sweet 16 is actually on my birthday, which I'll be probably tuning in then. Uh, but it's just it, it's, it's going to be great, man. It's going to be a great tournament. I think. Do you think UConn going to uh, repeat? See, we said we weren't going to do no uh, no no prediction. Yeah, that's your but... fault. You did that. You did that to <laughs> I us. did that. You did, I did that. that. Yeah, I did. I don't but know. Um, I'm, 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 I'm looking through the brackets right now and UConn has a really good chance to repeat. Um, yeah. But you got Duke on the other side. They got a good chance to get to the final four, probably the championship. Mid North Carolina has a hard road going through Michigan state, going through Alabama, going through Baylor, Arizona's on their side. So it's like, they have a, they have a hard road to go. Duke. Nah. UConn has the easiest road, honestly. <laughs> They're the number one team, yeah. right? like the overall number one, like the undisputed overall number one, yeah. Right now, overall, but Duke has a good chance. And on the other side, you got Purdue. They have Gonzaga, Kansas, Oregon, Creighton, Texas, and Tennessee. Like uh, Purdue, Purdue got a gauntlet. I ain't gonna lie, but it's 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 it's, it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good tournament to watch, man. What you think about what's going on with uh, March Madness, brother? I mean, first off, to repeat as any champion in any sport is very difficult to do. Um, I did it. Again, again to in bring college. LeBron into it. I think that's why everybody <laughs> it, it, that's why a lot of people say Jordan is the GOAT because he did a three-peat twice mm -hmm. and that's never yeah. been done before. But yeah, the, the repeat as a champion in any sport is very hard to do. So very if UConn so. does win it, I mean... Amazing for them. Um, for sure. But this is always like this time of year always brings a different type of energy to sports. It does, because bro. it's it's like this when the real competition starts to gear up, right? Um, or like it, it's it's the the middle portion of the real competition because in February you have the uh Super Bowl. Then March mm -hmm. starts the the madness with basketball and the college sports, mm -hmm. and then April, May, June April, is May, when June. Playoffs. NBA mm -hmm. playoffs start to, to gear up in the competition to push the playoff run begins, right? Um, mm -hmm. every, everybody's excited for this time because it's a lot of stuff, a lot of excitement, a lot of drama that comes with the sports around this time of year. Like you mentioned, the Cinderella stories for March Madness, people are searching for those Cinderella stories, looking for those mm -hmm. underdog teams to cheer for. Um, and, and hopefully they can put that underdog <coughs> in the in the bracket and, and ride that wave. It took some, uh, you know, some money or whatnot. I even remember the excitement. It's, it's so much excitement around this, especially back in the day. I remember, I don't know if you remember, watching games in the classrooms. Uh, yeah. Especially nah. ACC yeah. tournament. You know, we live in ACC land here. We mm -hmm. used to watch the ACC tournament during the during class, during the ACC tournament back in the day. I mean, like mm -hmm. you said, North Carolina, either, either Duke. Carolina. I grew up as a Sometimes Duke fan. I'm not gonna State. lie to yep. you. Yep. Very rarely. Um, mm -hmm. very rarely the the other school, my school, Wake Forest. Um, I grew up as a but a back Duke in fan. back in college with you, Wake Forest was nice. You you had the you know you had the Chris Pauls of the world, the Jeff T's of the yeah, world. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, I mean, before him, you had uh, Tim, Tim Duncan. Duncan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You had um, Randolph Childress. Mm -hmm. You had. Why well, I forget this dude name? He was nice too. He played for he was he was AC Player of the Year. I forgot his name. Josh, ah uh, shoot. I am not. My apologies, bro. I know who you are, but yeah, 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 um, yeah. It, it's, it's Josh something. He played for the Mavs and then he played with the. Um, I forgot, but he was he was nice too. And then came CP. Then came all those boys. Um, but anyway, yeah. So. It was ACC country. You watching the basketball in the, in the game. It's just crazy excitement that comes with this time of year. Um, but as far as the gambling is concerned, it it does get out of hand because you have brackets on top of brackets on top of brackets. You have brackets at work. You mentioned you mentioned your lady having a mm -hmm. bracket or hearing about the brackets 
in her office. You have brackets at churches, friendly mm-hmm. brackets. You mm-hmm. have the brackets with ESPN, CBS Sports, and all that. And then now with the sports betting platforms and you know, 38 states legalizing sports gambling, you have those <coughs> platforms where you can get a parlay and all that. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, just gambling is gone. It's just getting rampant, man. It's just going crazy it's going right crazy, now. Crazy. So bro. I mean, it's, it's definitely a time of year also where a lot of money is exchanged in hopes of becoming rich off of something Quick. that you spent, you know what I'm saying, spent a lot of your time with. It's also a time of year where you can make a name for yourself if you are one of these individuals that's on a team that makes a deep run and you're performing well. So NIL is a big mm. thing right now in college sports. And so, yes, sir. you know, if, if you have, uh, uh, if you're performing well while you're out, or while you're in the March Madness, you can set yourself up, especially if you're an underclassman, you can set yourself up to be to have some big deals in your presence or sign some big contracts the following year because companies want to be seen as relevant. They want to be with somebody that can become a household name or that's marketable. Mm-hmm. There's no other time of the year where you get these, this type of eyes on a specific event other than March Madness. Like like you mentioned, you said it was what you say you said it was 1.3 billion that 1.3 March billion Madness brings that in. March Madness brings to the NCAA. Yep. Right. And so 1.2 what billion, I read so was 1.3, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what I read was that in 2010 CBS Sports and Turner Broadcast signed a deal or put a deal in place with the NCAA to lock up the tournament until 2024 in 2016 they extended that another eight years and gave them another 8.8 billion dollars so cbs sports owns a couple of channels Mm -hmm. or cbs owns a couple of channels cbs sports is included with that turner broadcast owns a couple of channels and that spans across various genres of channels as well so turner and cbs own sports channels they own news channels they own what is geared towards mostly women. They own those type of channels. This time of year, what is on all of those channels? Basketball. <laughs> the basketball tournament. So the basketball you're, tournament. You're, going, you're getting the most eyes on one event probably ever because some people don't watch football. But everybody has a favorite. Uh, everybody, Mostly everybody has a college that they went to that they cheer for. Mm-hmm. And if your team is in that tournament, you're probably going to be watching it. So you can have some type of bragging rights. Mm -hmm. And if you're a player on that team that does well and your team has a deep run, oh, what are are companies saying? Oh, let's see if we can get him and add. Let's see if we can (laughs) throw a couple dollars at him. Let's see if we can throw a couple dollars at him. You know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) This is exactly what it is. Yeah. This is what it is. Because they want to be, they want to keep, the relevancy of that person, they want to use the relevancy of that person with their brand to bring more attention to their brand. So they'll throw them a couple pennies, what was deemed pennies to them. Well, mm-hmm. They'll throw that player a couple of pennies to be a part of their brand on the name, image, and likeness in order mm-hmm. to say, all right, yeah, I remember he did well in the tournament last year. He's He's a part of what now? Let me go ahead and get, or she, you know, the mm-hmm. girl, I probably would. The girls are doing well. Caitlin well, super well. And Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Reese. Are, they made their name last year, and now they're the highest paid college athletes because of NIL deals. Mm-hmm. But because people can recognize you from the tournament, to wrap this all up, is the reason that these NIL deals, if you can make a name for yourself in the tournament, probably setting yourself up for some big deals to be put in place for you the following year. And not only just NIL, but with all the eyes that you have on you for the for the Mar- for March Madness, the NCAA tournament, you are also auditioning for the next step in your professional career. Because there's right. so many, there's there's going to be so many NBA scouts at these games, and they're going to be traveling to different places. That because usually the NCAA, the, the the March Madness games are usually at neutral sites, so you're going right. to have, and and that's. That's of course by strategy because you want everybody to come to one location. That location gets gets a hell of money, but you also mm-hmm. have a bunch of teams in one place for these NBA scouts. 
So they're going to be out there looking at you and watching you. And if you perform well, bro, you you got NIL on your side. If you want to go back to school, you got NBA on your side. If you want to go ahead and, and pursue your dream to be a professional athlete. So yep. it's, it's so much that happens in the month of March, man, especially for these for these kids, dog. Like it's a huge, huge opportunity for them to 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 make more money than they probably ever seen in their life. And shout out to them, man. I'm looking for the Cinderella. I'm pulling because I don't, my, my team ain't been, my team ain't been good for the past three, four years, man. So I'm mm-hmm. um, Syracuse. I hope you get back on top, but you might, you might not. Who knows? But we'll see, man. We'll see what happens with it. Is UConn, it, it, tell me what y'all think in the, in the comments, man. Is UConn going to repeat? What is your team in the NCAA tournament? Do you have, do you have, do you even have a team? Are you just watching for the sport? Let us know what you think in the comments, man, and see what, see what we got going on.